Hello everybody, I'd like to spend a few minutes this afternoon and talk about the thumbnail builder ability that the system has for generating 2D thumbnails. Well, first off, where are these used? Well, if you ever open a uh, grid view in the product structure editor or the product explorer, you can turn on the thumbnails and see a quick snapshot in 2D of all the various components that make up a structure. And they also appear in the property cards, view the property card, and so forth. And sometimes you'll notice some of them are missing. And these could be due to an index service issue on your environment that, that didn't process a particular assembly, or uh, on, an, on an unconfigured on-premise environment. Uh, in the case of uh, on-premise environments, I think there's some specific configurations you have to make to get your uh, index services to produce the product uh, 2D sketch, uh, 2D thumbnails as opposed to just the parts. So when the um, index service runs, you, you'll notice you may see something like this is uh, on an on-premise environment. And yes, you can indeed set up the uh, environment with a little customization to auto to produce your products uh, as thumbnails as well. But if you don't and you want a, just a quick ad hoc way to generate them, that's what I'm touching on today. I saw this question posted on the community, so it looked like a and it'd be a little, it, I decided to write this tip just because I thought it would answer a few questions uh, in this area. What creates the situation? When do I end up with just thumbnails? And it's true that all the CAD integrations on the platform generate thumbnails when the data is saved to the platform. Situations where this doesn't occur is classically with uh, the 3D product architect, which uses a duplicate command to generate uh, derivative structures from previous designs. If in that structure development, you use a duplicate function so that you're creating an entirely new product based on a previous one, you're creating that information outside of the CAD environment so the 2D thumbnails are not created. Uh, secondly is if you bring data in from the outside through an import process, and you're not importing to the CAD, but you import directly to the platform, the situation would also exist. How do we deal with it? Well, there is a tool buried into one of our applications called the Product Finder that lets us create thumbnails on the fly and generate them manually. Uh, so to set that tool up is, um, it, I should say, the tool in the Product Finder. The Product Finder is part of the collaborative innovate, uh, innovation, is part of collaborative innovation. So if you have CS, what we call the CFE, CSV license, you have access to that. And most people do on the on your environment will likely have this particular application. So within uh, the, the product finder, you can uh, first set up, turn on what we call the status bar. Now the status bar lets, lets us run commands directly from a command line within the product finder. Uh, once you do that, you can simply run the command. It's uh, C colon 2D thumbnail. When you run it, the system brings up a command bar of one or more commands that meet that, that particular command input. In this case, it's a single line application. You click on that application and the system gives you a prompt for information it needs to actually execute the th creation of thumbnails. There's a number of options on this command. First off is the uh, accuracy, and this is a quartal accuracy of the structure that you're gonna create. The system by defaults to medium, I found that meets all my needs. Um, you could obviously play with this setting and try higher and lower. Obviously, higher you go is probably going to slow down the process significantly if you do a lot of computation, a lot of product creation. And secondly, you have a number of other options, which vary depending on your situation. So, and you know, this, there's a number of possible scenarios that can control this. I'm just going to touch on one. Um, look at these options here, you'll notice a number are grayed out. This could vary depending on your platform's environment. But um, I'll show you an example here based on what I've seen as a common setup of the, of the system using these options. Here in the product finder, as I said, we go into display and we run the status bar that gives us the command line. Here we can put in the command, in this case C2D thumbnail, brings up the command bar itself or the command line. We can then click on that to run the operation. We get the thumbnail builder. So I'm going to select what we want to have in this operation. We're going to pick this entire structure here of this wheel assembly of a bicycle. And I'm going to say generate them all. And the system says that's not recommended. But for this small assembly, we can do that. And I'm going to leave the other option of generating 2D3 thumbnails active. 
If I run this command now, the system marches through this particular structure and generates all the thumbnails for the structure because I, I, uh, because I clicked that command. And indeed, this may slow performance. Once I do that, if I go back to the product structure editor where I can see my products aren't visible, I do a refresh, and now all the product thumbnails now appear because of the fact that I ran the uh, thumbnail generator to create them manually. So I hope this is useful. I mean, uh, I really just want to give you the feel of this command. The options can vary for your situation. Let me give you a sense of what you can do with uh, how you can quickly create thumbnails in a situation where they're not created by the system.